this is some exclusive content right here I haven't even talked about this on my main channel so if you want to go to my main channel hit the first link in the description box below but this channel I'm gonna post all like my behind the scenes stuff on so I just picked up a new gun literally like I just walked in the door it came in this hard case right here it is the SDS imports T sauce uh, Zagana PX9 that's a mouthful I almost forgot just that quick Zagana PX9 I'm gonna break open this case I haven't even opened it and I want to see what's inside what all it comes with because I read online it comes with like three different magazines that come with like cleaning brushes all kind of stuff so I'm excited to get in here and gonna do the first look together okay bow bow let me see wait a minute feels kind of heavy okay if you want to pause and look at all the stuff that's in here you can pause the video right now but I'm gonna go over everything uh First off, right out of the box, the box is perfect, it's nice, it's beautiful. Uh, so, let me see. First, you get 18 round magazine right here. This camera sucks at focusing, I'm sorry guys. But you get an 18 round mag right here. Uh, let's get to the gun. The gun is here it comes in a holster and you get the little paddle for the holster you just screw it on uh, it comes with two adjustable back straps I guess for the gun and it comes with looks like a little kit I'm gonna open everything just gonna show you what's in it uh, what else you get two cleaning utensils you get the little bore brush to clean I already got like a whole cleaning kit but I guess I can add this to the collection to clean the barrel once you're done shooting your gun and you get this I mean it's plastic so but if you don't got one it'll last help you clean your guns and last thing I only see two magazines not three a lot of people say three but I only see two and anyway you get this speed loader and another 18 round magazine so oh yeah and the instructions all the way at the bottom of the phone gotta take the phone up let me see pull up the phone and the instruction manual not gonna bore you guys by reading this but it just goes over like the basics of the gun tells you it comes with it's like a striker fire pistol. Uh, it tells you everything it comes with, how to break it down, how to clean it. Those, just the typical information about your gun here. So it comes with two adjustable back straps and a little punching pin so you could take the strap off and change it out. There's a little pin that comes with. Uh, this is a two, so I'm guessing it's the smallest. This is a three. I'm not sure what's on it now because I haven't taken off anything. I just opened the gun. Uh, let's get into the part that you all came here for. Let's get into the gun. Right off the rip, it's a really, really nice holster. Like I said, it comes with a little paddle that I have to screw on. And it's a little upper right here. Got to push this little button. It's a button right here on the bottom of it that you got to push. And gun comes right out. Oh, the orange tip is on the inside. Okay. Rack it to the back. Falls right out. There's no magazine. I literally just took the gun out. So it's nothing in it, literally. Right off the back gun feels good in my hand it feels very very good it's a striker fire pistol it's a Donna P 
PX9, I don't think this camera is going to focus. The lighting is off in here too. I'm sorry about that. Let me try and, I don't know. My lighting is way off in here. Okay, I had to switch where I was. Now I look bright like a ghost. But anyways, not going to try to adjust the brightness and mess with this camera. Like I was saying, there is a little button right here. Yeah, the lighting is so much better. It's a button right here on the bottom of the case. Oh, the, the holster. Just take it out. This is the gun. This is the Zagana PX9. Alright, yeah. Like I said, it's clear. No magazine. Gun is empty. Empty. Comes with two 18 round magazines and a speed loader, the bore brushes, the adjustable back straps. I got this gun off Bud's Gun Shop for $338 with tax. I believe it was like $359 plus transfer. So, all in all, I got this gun for a reasonable about $370. So, it was actually a good deal. The guy at the shop even told me, he said, I think you got a really good deal on this. So, I think so. I did not do any initial shooting videos because I got other things I'm doing, I'm working on. So I got to get around to it to get this in the range. But I have not really had time to look at the gun, look at all the specs, the perks. This is just first look, just opened it right out the box. I got to figure out how to uh, take off the straps and everything. So, so far the gun is good. I like it. Here's the gun, no magazine, empty. Here's my other gun, no magazine, empty. Only thing I don't like is this weird Picatinny rail. The Picatinny on here is weird. It's not set up like my full size nine, so I cannot attach my flashlight or I cannot attach my laser. They do make attachments for it, but I have to spend, like, I don't know, I have to look it up, but this Picatinny rail is very weird, and I just don't like it, so, I don't know, I might use this as, like, a bedside gun, it's not going to be an everyday carry, because if I cannot put a flashlight on it or a laser, unless I get, like, some special optics for it or something, but it's not going to be an everyday carry gun, because... I can't put my stuff on it until I order it so but I'll still shoot it see what it's like review it maybe you guys know in the comment section below I might be doing something wrong but this is how the holster looks it's loose like it's supposed to just be straight it's like real loose real wobbly maybe you gotta go for my belt loop or something I don't really know. I never had a holster like this. This is how it looks. Maybe it gotta go through a belt loop. I don't know. I never had a holster like this. Like I said, and I'm not too much of a fan of my gun being on the outside more so than the inside because I feel like I'm just being flashy and showing it off. So I might get a whole nother holster. I like the holster. The design was nice and I like how you click the button to take it out, but I'm not a fan of my gun being on the outside of my hip. I'm just not. So in conclusion, I actually really, really like the gun. I think I'm going to stick to this holster that I have right here for now. This is like an inner holster instead of the one that's weird or paddle holster, whatever you call it. I think I'm going to stick with that one. Show you no magazine. Gun is empty because all you guys are. Gun is empty. Uh, this is what I meant by the striker fire. You probably won't see it. It's like a little red dot here when the gun is ready for the trigger to be pulled. So that's what striker fire is. And the gun is, it feels like really good. And I changed the straps to the tools the back straps so the tools fit way better than the threes well for me personally so i like the tools better the threes just feel kind of like too big and 
the trigger is I like it a lot just like the trigger a lot the reset on the trigger is that's as far back as you gotta go you don't even have to put all the way back that's as far as back as you gotta go so final looks of my new Zagana px9 i'm gonna get some shooting footage maybe in the next couple days so stay tuned for that